if you want clear skin or if you're aiming towards clear skin, just know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Re, and I'm gonna just be honest with y'all. I'm stuck in traffic on my way to my job, and I really wanted to film this video for you guys because I just posted my skincare routine. So I really wanted to just kind of break down like and give you guys kind of real valuable tangible tips that work for me just for anybody who's dealing with acne, hyperpigmentation, texture on your skin. I feel like your skin is honestly a point of confidence that nobody really talks about because and I personally understand that from like a core level because I've had acne what since I was a teen all the way till now i'm 25 years old and i'm still dealing with acne so i truly understand like the toll that not having the clearest skin or the nicest skin can have on your confidence and stuff like that girl i've been there <laughs> i've been there i covered you know you know when you like have really problematic skin and you just want to cover it up every time you have to go out like just throw on a bunch of makeup and conceal and all kind of things and it's just like i'm just not comfortable with my skin because at the end of the day makeup is only gonna enhance what you already have so i just wanted to kind of hop on here and just share some real tangible tips if you want clear skin i'm gonna just be real with y'all it is a process it is an investment but a thousand percent i think it's worth it because your skin is a point of confidence i feel like people look at your smile maybe your eyes and then your skin because a lot of people use your skin like your skin texture to be like okay like she clearly takes care of herself like she has great skin this and that so it's not something to be ignored and i know it's something a lot of people struggle with i am still struggling with it by no means is my face perfectly clear i've shared that in multiple videos like in my last video you guys saw like the recent transformation like my skin from last year like that was i think it was december to now where we're in june it is a trans it's like transformational like the difference but that's this thing like skin is very healing and it just takes time and it's an investment but for me that investment is worth it so if you enjoy this video while I'm in traffic, <laughs> while I'm in traffic, y'all, I promise it's not dangerous. Like, it's, like, inching forward, and I'm just trying to be productive with my time because I'm juggling too much stuff. But I am promise I'm being the safest I could possibly be. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. There's a red button that means subscribe, and it would mean the world to me if you click it. Or even if you already clicked it, just send it to your Grammy and let her click it because we're trying to grow over here. And leave a comment down below if you've struggled with acne in the past or large pores. What is your biggest skin struggle? Leave that comment down below. I'd love to know. Let's start a little conversation. I would say the first thing that really changed my skin, and I feel like y'all are going to know this, is going to an esthetician. And I would say an esthetician or dermal dermatologist, depending on like what's in your area and what you prefer to go to. Um, so obviously a dermatologist is like a skin doctor and there's a lot more kind of years in the medical field and stuff like that. But I do feel as though estheticians are very knowledgeable and valuable and they have a lot of the similar techniques and strategies that a dermatologist would use on your skin. So just, I go to skin Skinistry, Simone, she's amazing. I hype her up all the time. <laughs> I'm very lucky that I found an esthetician in my area that I can vouch for and that I know like she's doing honestly the best she can for my skin and that's the good thing about going to esthetician not only does someone recommend like the best techniques or she would give like facials and peels and y'all know if y'all watch reviews with declare skin i have done so many treatments i've done laser resurfacing a, a matrix chemical peels it's all on my channel and it's all for you guys to just kind of gain some little research and see all my struggles but i think that was the first step going to an esthetician and i've been going to Samoa now for almost a year probably more like eight to nine months but almost an entire year and no I do not plan on stopping because I feel like I'm finally getting the results that I want and why would you stop that's like me going to the gym finally getting like a six-pack of abs and being like okay mission accomplished I'm just gonna lose it oh no girl we're gonna keep going so I'm definitely gonna still go to my esthetician uh, once a month and just kind of continue my process of achieving like like the kind of skin that I want so I highly recommend if you struggle with your skin and your overall texture and you just want to see change 
Sometimes change requires community. So go to your esthetician, get some knowledge, get a facial, get a peel, get somebody who has the knowledge that can actually tackle the problems that you have. That's just my humble opinion. You guys do what you want to do. <laughs> All right, the next thing I would say that really, really changed my skin is, or that really, really helped to give me like the clear ish skin that I have now would definitely be when I switch from my face fabric mask to disposable mask. Game changer for my skin. COVID slapped my cheeks up. Like, all of these masks and stuff i was wearing fabric masks and i wasn't thinking much of it but to be honest a lot of sweat and gunk was being stuck in my skin even if i wear makeup and wear a fabric mask my skin was not built for no pandemic that's what god showed me god showed me oh girl you weren't meant your skin isn't meant to be in the pits (laughs) it is a pandemic i was like wow like my cheeks were inflamed breaking out on a regular basis and i knew it was the mask because it started off with just my cheeks just the area where the mask hit and when i tell you i made that switch to disposable mask and my skin just felt better it was less inflamed i i wear the mask once a day toss it and then plus for me personally i prefer disposable mask now because i didn't have to wash my mask or make sure that like you know it's clean Wet a mask one time and you toss it. So if you're struggling with a lot of mask knee, mask knee is mask acne and all kind of skin issues that are developing around the mask area, consider the switch to disposable mask. Trust me, it was a hard switch for me because I really love fabric masks and the patterns and just like, you know, the whole vibe. But disposable masks are just so much better for my skin. I have sensitive skin, so I cannot ignore when my skin is like, sis i'm inflamed so (laughs) i had to switch to that the next tip i would say if you want clear skin is to be honest there is a lot of research and there's a lot of research that you kind of have to do in regards to products in regards to techniques that you want to try on your skin any sort of peels any sort of uh like retinol niacinamide any of those things that i mentioned in my current skincare routine and you're like i have no idea what that is i have no idea what that does for my skin I was the same way to be honest and I spent a lot of my pandemic kind of researching on YouTube and trying to understand the different skincare ingredients and the ones that would benefit my skin. So for example, there's a YouTube channel here called Beauty Within. I also recommend Dr. Lee, Dr. Alexis Stevens. If you are a person of color, highly recommend Dr. Alexis Stevens. Also, I'd recommend Dr. V, the hyperpigmentation clinic. There's a lot of resources on YouTube where we don't have to be lost anymore. And I feel like that's powerful. Like people need to take advantage of the fact that we can educate ourselves. Because a lot of times people are like, I have no idea what I'm doing. And I was the same way. I learned about vitamin A, retinol, derivatives. I learned about vitamin C. I learned about vitamin B, niacinamide, like all kind of things. The BHAs, AHAs, there's a lot that goes into skincare. And even so, I learned about the fact that like fragrance can kind of sort of sensitize my skin. And I already have sensitive skin, so I try to aim away from products with a lot of fragrance in it. But stuff like that, I wouldn't know. Like those are things that like (laughs) we don't know off the top of our head. We didn't go to a class in high school and had that knowledge on, hey, this is probably what my skin needs. So the first step is to do your research if you want i can do an entire video on kind of like breaking down what i use in my skincare routine and why i can kind of do a more detailed version of that okay parked all right so and that leads me into my next point my next point is develop a skincare routine that works for your skin this is something that i was working with and just like being tedious and particular with for so long just finding a routine a skincare routine day and night that my skin actually likes and it actually feels like it's nourishing my skin and protecting it throughout the day and then also nourishing it at night so i just posted my current skincare routine so i will share that with you guys in the cards in the description below how you suggest checking it out if you have all oily acne prone sensitive skin like me triple threat we out of here all we got is problems but that's okay because we know how to fix them come on now if i didn't have the type of skin i had i would never have had all of this knowledge about skincare and i never would have sat down and be like i need to understand 
why my skin is inflamed and what I need to give it so that it's in its best state. Even though my skin is a lot, I'm grateful that I have this type of skin because it really gave me kind of like the push to educate my scalp on skin community and ingredients. So it's important to know the type of products that work well for your skin oily combination dry whatever you have have that knowledge of hey i have this type of skin type let me kind of like structure it around what my skin is currently going through so the last tip is kind of something that everybody knows but i feel like it matters is that i drink a lot of water <laughs> like i have a bottle right now on my way to work and even though it has a timer, clearly I'm already past 10 a.m. And it's not even 10 a.m. yet. I don't even think it's like 8.39. But I drink a lot of water. This is a 64-ounce water bottle. And I'm knocking at least two of these down a day. So, yep. And right now, the way my body is set up, I've been doing this for a very long time. So if I don't have, let's say I have less than my eight, eight-ounce glasses of water a day that is required as a human, I'm totally dehydrated. My skin is a little bit more irritated. So I know it sucks, but drink your water. Put lemon in if you need to. Lemon and cucumber, powerful. That makes your water taste like the most bougiest, refreshing thing ever. It's such a mood. So if you need to infuse your water, I've infused my water a couple of times, but now I can just drink it straight up to the head. No problem. Papau. I wasn't always like this. I used to infuse my water a lot just to get me to drink the amount of water that I wanted to, just so my skin can feel its best. So the amount of water you drink is highly reflective in your skin, also in your weight, if you didn't know, but that's a different topic. And then also on top of drinking a lot of water, I kind of watch what I eat in terms of, I, I'm lactose intolerant. I'm not supposed to be having any dairy. I have dairy, or let's say I just have a Coke, my skin is like oh my god you don't care <laughs> and i just i get like a blemish oh whatever i think people used to call them like sweet bumps back in the day like my my god used to say like oh you have like a little sweet bump i break out if i have an excess amount of sugar or if i have a lot of dairy in my system my skin is like why would you do that <laughs> so certain things i know if i'm trying to achieve this class skin i gotta be stricter about and one of and two of those things for me is dairy and then just like a high amount of sugar so sodas i don't drink sodas and just like watching the juice intake i don't really drink juices sparkling water and water has been keeping me sane and sound and it's just made the difference in terms of my mental clarity but also my skin <laughs> So I just wanted to share with you guys kind of like the tips I use to clear my skin. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it's not too much. If you want the full breakdown on this acne clear skin journey that I'm on, y'all, please check out Reese Road to Clear Skin. It's a playlist with a lot of videos and a lot of struggles that we go through here in this channel. I just want to thank you guys for always supporting and watching. I appreciate you. I value you. Yeah, you bad. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.